The solar system is commonly asked on the Earth science regions. Now in terms of the planets of the solar system, it's broken up into two categories. We have our inner planets and our outer planets. Now the categories is based on the physical uh, characteristics or the physical properties of the planets. So in terms of the inner planets, they include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They're also called terrestrial planets, terrestrial meaning land or solid, or they have physical properties that are similar to Earth. So the terrestrial planets, they're relatively small, they have a low mass, they're high in density because they're composed of heavier elements, heavier elements such as silicon. So again, they're relatively small or in comparison, they have low mass, but they have their high in density. Now the outer planets, the other four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are known as Jovian planets or the gas planets. So the Jovian planets are large. They're the larger planets of the solar system. They're low in density. Okay, so Saturn is less dense than water. It's mostly made up of gas. That's why they are low in density. And they have a small rocky core. So again, they're larger. They have the great they have greater mass, but yet they're low in density because they're mostly made up of gas. And they have a small rocky core. Now, as part of page fifteen of the Earth Science Reference Table, the solar system data chart. And you can see you, can, you have a lot of information here that, that will be very useful to you. Right? It's a question of taking time to find the answers. And you can see that we have several columns here. It's broken up to several columns. So the first column is the celestial objects. So it's the objects that's in the solar system, which includes the sun, the eight planets, and the Earth's moon. Then the next column, we have the mean distance or the average distance from the sun in million of kilometers. So simply stated, you notice that as you go down the list, the values increase or the distance in kilometers increase. So you're going further away from the sun. The next column, you have the period of revolution which is in units of days or years. So if you notice the inner planets, the period of revolution is in days. Earth is 365 and a quarter days. But as you go to the outer or Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, the period of revolution is in years. So simply stated, the further you are away from the sun, the longer the period of revolution. And that's a typical question that's asked in various ways on the Earth science regions. The next column we have the period of rotation at the equator. Essentially the one trip or one whole turn on a planet's axis. So if you notice the inner planets, they the period of rotation is longer compared to the outer planets. Now, one unique piece of information is Venus. Venus has a period of rotation of 243 days. It's actually longer than its period of revolution of 224.7 days. So that's a question that might show up on the regions. Earth, of course, is just under 24 hours. Mars has a similar period of rotation to Earth. And again, once you get past Mars to the outer planets, the periods of rotation is shorter. The next column is the eccentricity of a planet's orbit. Essentially, it measures how elliptical a planet orbit is. So when you have a value, an eccentricity value of zero or close to of zero, it's a circle. If you have a, any eccentricity value closer to zero, the shape of the orbit is 
is more or closer to a circle. Anything greater than zero approaching one, the eccentricity value or the, the orbit is more elliptical or is more elongated or stretched out. So that's something that's typically asked and it has various questions on eccentricity. You can find the information here in this column. The equatorial diameter essentially is the width, the width of, uh, of the celestial object of the solar system, right? And you can see the one, the one planet with the greatest equatorial diameter is Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter is the largest planet of our solar system. Venus and Earth have similar equatorial, equatorial diameters. And again, these are typically questions that's asked on the regions. You can find the information here. In terms of mass, okay, so mass has a, our Earth has a mass of unit one. And we compare the mass of the other planets based on Earth. The one that's most similar to Earth would be Venus with a mass of 0.82. And of course, the largest mass here in the solar system is Jupiter of 317.83. And in the last column, we have the density. The density is in grams per cubic centimeter. Earth is the planet of our solar system with the greatest density. But also, Mercury and Venus has similar densities to Earth. Now, once you get past the inner planets to the Jovian planets, you can know, you notice that the density of these planets is a whole lot less. Again, is due to the fact that these planets are mostly made up of gas. Now, in the solar system, we have the asteroid belt. Now, the asteroid belt is found between Mars and Jupiter. Okay, so it's found in between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So simply stated, they might ask you a question approximately what is the distance what is the distance away from the sun is the asteroid belt of the solar system? So it's gonna be some number between two hundred and twenty seven point nine kilometers and seven hundred and seventy eight point four million kilometers. Take the average, and the average is roughly 508 kilometers. Okay, so somewhere in between, that is the distance. That's where you can find the distance of the asteroid belt. And again, shaded in red, these are your inner planets or the terrestrial planets of the solar system. Shaded in blue is your outer planets of the solar system. Okay, and again, here's a graphical representation of where you can find the asteroid belt. Again, is it between the orbits of Mars and the orbits of Jupiter? Now, let's answer some of these commonly asked questions that's on the regions. So, for example, number one, it says compare the terrestrial planets, compare to the terrestrial planets, the Jovian planets have. So, in this case, you look at all four of your choices and you go back to the chart and see which of the choices makes the most sense. So choice one, you have smaller diameters. Two, greater average densities. Three, slower rates of rotation. Four, periods of revolution. So you look at each choice in the chart and you see which one makes the most sense. So if you look here on the period of revolution, Okay, the units are in years compared to days for to the inner planet. So the best choice would be choice four. Jovian planets have longer periods of revolution. Okay, now next question. Three planets known as gas giants because of their large size and low density are. So you go to the reference table. All right. So the three planets known as gas giants because of their large size and low density. So we know is either going to be Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, okay, Neptune, and you do a comparison. You you look 
at the mass, you look at the density, and you compare it to the other data or the other information to for the out the inner planets. And the best choice would be choice C, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Okay, next question. Which object in our solar system has the greatest density? So here you would look under the density column and see which value is the greatest. When you look underneath the column, the greatest value is 5.5. So if you look across, that that belongs to planet Earth. So that's choice B. Okay. Which statement correctly compares the size, composition, and density of Neptune to Earth? So you're comparing Neptune's size, composition, and density to Earth. So the question is, is referring to Neptune. So we know that Neptune is a gas planet. Okay. We know Neptune is has a greater mass and it has less density than Earth. So the best choice would be choice B. Neptune is larger, more gases, and less dense. Okay, and lastly, the last two questions. Which planet is the largest planet in our solar system? You could either look at the equatorial diameter or the mass, and you can see that the largest planet of our solar system is Jupiter. And our last question, the density of the sun is closest to the density of, well, here's the sun. The sun has a density of about 1.4. Then you scroll down to see which planet has the closest density. So amongst our four choices, it would be Jupiter. Okay, so I hope this was useful. I hope this is also helpful. Uh, again, take your time when going over these questions, especially this portion of the reference table. The answers are there. So take some time and have some patience to find the answers.